basically have the largest population in uh, as elderly. It's aging very fast, and this is something that we have to deal with, uh, particularly with the help of technologies. Uh, first, in order to actually do this, you need to uh, basically have good education. Uh, people need to be aware of it. Uh, what I call uh, awareness or prerequisite stage. Uh, stage one, uh, we actually have what we call a Jiron Technology uh, Innovation Expo and Summit that is led by you know nonprofit organizations as well as uh, community organizations sponsored by uh, the government to actually raise the awareness as, as well as what we call a Golden Age Expo and Summit. Number two, we need to uh, have good research so that uh, you have good products. Uh, and good commercialization effort. And we have an example of a mission research program where it funds a software uh, program that will actually help this robot to identify different terrains, whether it's slope or staircase uh, accordingly. So it's a software that is um, uh, researched by engineering departments in one of the universities funded by this program that we actually advocate a couple of years ago in the product development stage uh, to realize some of the products that can be uh, based on the research. Uh, one of the areas that are really missing is the test beds or test case or test centers where you actually have a venue for um, you know all these uh, pilots and scientific productions to be tested. And we need to have collaborations with universities as well as hospitals and community care centers to pilot and test some of these uh, uh, scientific products uh, that we actually talked about as a first, a second and third stage. And finally, what we call adoption stage is that actually people need to use it. We advocated and we actually got a uh, government support. Uh, this is one billion uh, dollars to fund some of the NGOs, uh, nonprofit organizations to use a list of the products on the left hand side. Uh, for example, electric nursing and wheelchair bed. Uh, that is actually uh, quite very old, elderly friendly. Uh, you can actually uh, go to a very low, close to the floor, so that it's easy for elderly to get on. And around these four areas, you can see that a lot of coordination and collaboration efforts uh, need to take place. Now, as I said, uh, collaboration is a theme, you know, with this product cycle that I mentioned. And within that four stages, there are elements that we can actually work together as a region uh, for example, you know, whether we can build the awareness and accessibility through a website together, or whether we can actually train expert and officials together in capacity building, uh, whether, you know, these funding that we talked about in a research stage, in the test case, we can actually pull together. Uh, data sharing, obviously, because it takes a lot of data in order to refine the products and uh, understand the customer needs on probably an anonymous basis. And for example, the test cases that I talked about, you know, whether there are shared values that can be uh, envisioned. And finally, product, product subsidy. And now we are quite convinced that these collaborations is also necessary across region to make, you know, this really be helpful, not just to Hong Kong, not just to one particular country or region, but actually the entire uh, region together. Thank you.